What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and Chapter 3 is finally here, sooner than anyone could have expected. So today, we're going to go over the entire Chapter 3 update in under 5 minutes. Before any of that though, did you know that there is currently a free-to-play aim training software that can help you get the edge on any of your enemies or your friends? It's called Aim Labs, and it's hands down one of the best ways to train your aim for pretty much any game, including Fortnite. So hit the ground running in Chapter 3 and click the link down below to try it out for, did I mention, completely free. Okay, we're going to take things just like usual in this update video, so we'll start with the map changes. Um, there's a completely new map to explore. The major areas are the Logjam Lumberyard, the Shifty Shafts, Sleepy Sound, Coney Crossroads, the Daily Bugle, Sanctuary, the Joneses, Condo Canyon, Chonkers Speedway, Rocky Reels, Greasy Grove, and finally, Camp Cuddle. While those are all the named areas, there are of course a few small areas here and there. There's also a big empty spot on the map which is currently covered in snow. When that melts, Tilted Towers returns. With a new chapter comes brand new mechanics, and chapter 3 is certainly no slouch in that area. The first huge mechanic that we've got to talk about is sliding. That's right, a brand new movement option has entered the game, allowing you to slide at speed down slopes and other inclines, all while firing at your opponents. You can even aim in. Who knows how this will affect the Fortnite meta going forward, but this movement option should definitely spice up gunfights. Next, there's the insane new extreme weather mechanics. If you've played Battlefield 2048, you should kind of know what to expect, because a giant tornado can now spawn into the world of Fortnite. This tornado will essentially act as a redeploy point, allowing you to jump up into the air and glide, all while ripping up props around the world like cars and trees, while probably also destroying builds. The other extreme weather event we've seen so far are lightning storms. These powerful lightning strikes zap the ground across the Fortnite island, causing mass destruction in their wake. You won't want to be caught in one of these lightning storms during a build fight, I can tell you that much. There are some smaller, less impactful mechanics that have also been added to the game, such as how trees now react to when you chop them down. Chopping down a tree now actually feels like you're chopping it down, with the tree being felled just like it would in the real world. When a tree collapses to the ground, it'll take down pretty much anything in its path, including other trees. With a new chapter, a bunch of new weapons and items have also been added to the game, and they'll completely change the face of Fortnite forever. We've got a new automatic shotgun, an SMG that looks a lot like a UMP-45, a pump-style shotgun with a beige covering that looks a little different to the normal pump, as well as a 1911-style pistol. There is an assault rifle that looks like it was cobbled together from like three different weapons, and an assault rifle that looks a lot like a heavy assault rifle. Finally, there's a new sniper, which is the only weapon I know the actual name of right now, the Hunter's Bolt Action Sniper. There's a few new consumables, but we don't exactly know what they do yet. One is a spray can with a health symbol on it, so it probably heals you in some way, while the other is green and orange in a glass bottle, which could be some kind of spicy soda. There's also a canister that you can throw on the ground which heals everyone in an area like a chug splash, but over time. Next up to talk about is the new camping tent. This is basically a weapon stash. You can put a favoured weapon in it one game, and then you can use the tent again in the next one to get the same weapon immediately, as long as you find another camping tent. We've also got a cooler, a golden llama crown, and a strange lock scanner, so maybe vaults will be coming back. Last, but certainly not least, there's a pair of spidey gloves on the island as a mythic. Using these, you'll be able to web sling across the map from point to point, just like the webhead himself. Downtime is set to end at 10am Eastern Time, which is 7am Pacific Time, or for those of you who are in the UK like me, 3 in the afternoon. I hope you're all looking forward to playing the new chapter, because this update looks awesome. We're going to have more videos coming out now that the new chapter has begun, going over all of the new changes and how you can play the best in the new chapter. So make sure you all subscribe with the bell notification button turned on. But for now, this has been Matt, signing out.